Welcome back to Viking Basketball with head coach Jace Coburn as the Vikings get ready for their final home weekend of the season. Portland State taking on Weber State on Thursday night, Idaho State on Saturday, both games tipping at 7 p.m. right here at Viking Pavilion. And, of course, those games also stream live on ESPN+. Plus. And we get to this point of the year, Coach, and it happens this way every year. Every game is that much more important than the last one. And uh, at this point of the year, you're looking at postseason positioning heading into the Big Sky Tournament. Isn't that true? Yeah, I mean, it's exactly where we want to be. Um, you know, the next game is the most important game. So uh, looking at these games coming up, like, you know, Thursday night is going to be the most important game. And then after that one, Saturday will be. So, and it's what we want to do. We want to play meaningful basketball games down the stretch. And that's exactly where we're at right now. And the game Thursday night against Weber State. Uh, the Vikings currently in seventh place in the Big Sky Conference. If they can get a win and maybe a little help uh, in a uh, loss from Eastern Washington, they would have a chance to move up into sixth place. And that's what we talk about, about positioning. I know you only worry about what goes on on this court. So let's talk about the Weber State team, a very talented team, maybe as potent a starting lineup as any team in the Big Sky when you just look at the numbers. Big challenge for your squad. Yeah, Weber's really talented, really well coached. Coach Ray has always done a great job at Weber, and uh, we know they'll be ready to play. And, uh, you know, they definitely pose some challenges. They got some really good guard play, they got some really good wings, and um, some really good big guys. So, um, yeah, it'll be, it'll be a fun, exciting game. They bring a lot of size to the table. Kobe McEwen averaging 18 points per game, one of those guards you talked about. Dylan Jones leading the Big Sky Conference in rebounding, so they kind of seem to have it all. Uh, and as you have a slightly different uh, look from the last time you played them, a slightly smaller lineup, they bring pretty good size in. A different kind of challenge for you. What, what's your preparation like this week? Yeah, uh, you know, we've been focusing a lot on us um, and doing what we have to do uh, to continue our success that we've been having. Um, I think that's been one of the keys for us uh, about the last, you know, month or whatever it's been. Um, it's just to continue to focus on what we've been doing well uh, and work on our weaknesses and, and just continue to perform at a high level. Well, the Vikings have definitely been doing that uh, defensively. We've talked a lot about the offense in recent weeks, which has really improved defensively. You guys are getting it done. You forced... 20 turnovers per game over the last eight games, and uh, that has to make a head coach feel really good. Yeah, for sure. There's some things we did defensively that uh, we changed, um, you know, to help us out in other areas, and, and it's been working so far. So we just need to continue to do the things that uh, have gotten us to this point as of late and, uh, you know, continue to build on that and continue to get better every day. Okay, and some special nights this week. Uh, in addition to the games, some things happening around the game. Uh, Thursday night is going to be Strick City night. We're going to honor uh, the late Deontay Strickland right here. Uh, there will be a lot of friends and family here. Uh, we will also have alumni night going on that night. So uh, there will be a lot of folks in the house, and it should be an emotional night for you. Tell us a little bit about Deontay Strickland, uh, a guy that you coached here, and uh, what he meant to the program. He meant um, everything to our program. Um, I miss him every single day. Um, you know, he, he was a graduating senior for us and uh, finished up his school and did a great job in school and was a tremendous player and was an all around great person. Um, you know, I know he was a great teammate. The guys really enjoyed being around him. The coaches really enjoyed being around him. I know there were days where he'd spend several hours in my office and we'd just be hanging out. And, um, you know, he was a great Portland State Viking all the way around and we miss him dearly. And, uh, you know, he's somebody we think about every single day. Um, you know, multiple times a day. So, um, you know, excited to honor him in that way um, and, and look forward to doing that. And it'll definitely be an emotional night for sure. Um, and it'll be great to have the alumni back. Some guys who played with Strick will be back and, and uh, that'll be great to have them back in the building. And, and uh, some guys who played, you know, even before that, um, you know, so it, it'll be great. It'll be a great night and uh, it'll definitely be an emotional one for sure. Well, Deontay Strickland, uh, some great memories of him uh, on some very excellent teams uh, that you helped coach here at Portland State. And I always look forward to uh, the alumni coming back as well because I get the inevitable question, Mike, why are you still here? Uh, okay, so let's look ahead uh, to Saturday. That's Idaho State, a team uh, the Vikings beat all the way back on December 2. It was your first Big Sky Conference win. That 
probably had to be a pretty special victory for you. Uh, tell us a little bit about that game and maybe some of the emotions you felt after that win. Yeah, um, for, for me personally, it's it, it, it's always a big game when uh, I go to Idaho State, um, you know, and so and for that to be my first uh, Big Sky win was awesome. Um, so. Yeah, I mean, we went over there and battled, and we're two completely different teams, but they're different and we're different. So it'll be an interesting matchup on Saturday because um, they're playing different guys and starting different guys. We're playing different guys and starting different guys. So it's, uh, you know, we played them a long time ago, so it'll be an interesting matchup. All right, and uh, we talked a little bit about the emotion of the week, and there'll be a little bit of emotion uh, also on Saturday night. Uh, it's senior night, last home game of the season. Coach, uh, tell us a little bit about that in your seniors. Yeah, um, really excited to honor our seniors. Um, you know, they've given a lot to the program and, and um, you know, looking forward to them being Portland State Vikings for the rest of their lives. And, and uh, it'll be an emotional week for sure with everything that's going on on Thursday and everything that's going on on Saturday. Um, I don't know if I'll have any more tears left by, <laughs> by Saturday night after the end of that thing. But, um, yeah, so, we, I mean, you know, but at the same time, we know we got a job to do on the floor between those lines and we got to get after it. But... Uh, yeah, I mean, it'll be definitely emotional, especially for me, too, with my first senior class coming through and, and uh, you know, gotten to coach a couple of them for a couple years now. So, um, yeah, it'll be emotional for sure. All right, and the Vikings, as we take a look at them going into the week of play, they've won three in a row here at home. They've won five of their last seven games, playing their best basketball of the season right now as we approach the Big Sky Conference Tournament. So come on out and see the Vikings again Thursday night, Weber State, Saturday night, Idaho State, and you can also watch it on ESPN+. For all your information on Vikings basketball, go to GoVikes.com.